This is a device I designed to solve a problem my wife has. She never remembers where she put her keys. I wanted to create a keychain containing a buzzer, a Bluetooth interface and a small battery. It also has a USB port for battery charging. This way, if, if I want to find the keys, I can talk to the Bluetooth interface and activate the buzzer in the keychain. Then I have only to follow the acoustic beeps to find the keys. How can I make this thing buzz? I can use, for example, any Bluetooth enabled gadget like the Open Pandora, an AR empowered console with a GNU Linux distro. Let's launch this script that will search for the Bluetooth, for the Bluetooth name Kuron Echo, and make the keychain buzz. It's now searching. This can take several seconds. It has been found, and now it's asking me to enter the pin to pair the console. OK. It's now buzzing and the status LED is on. Okay, let's stop this thing, for example, by aborting the script. Now you have seen this thing working. Another uh, more, user more useful way to make the kids in bus is to use a cell phone with the right application. In this phone, I have installed a Java application that searches the keychain and makes it, it buzz. Let's launch it. Enable Bluetooth. OK, it's now searching the keys. It has found them. And now I have to enter the pin. And voila! Again, the keychain is buzzing. I can stop it by exiting the application in the phone or by pressing one of the buttons. So far, so good. This is the PCB inside the keychain. It has a Bluetooth interface with its internal aerial, an MSP430 microcontroller, a very low power microcontroller, a buzzer, a battery charger near the USB port, some switches, and two LEDs. The first one signals the system status and the second one lights when the battery is charging. These two wires are connected to the battery. The internal battery has a capacity of 180 milliamperes per hour and the full charge with the system running lasts for two days and a half so power consumption must be about th 3 milliamperes Designing a custom case for the keychain is not affordable for a homemade project, so I used the case of one of those tiny digital photo, photo frame keychains, and I also took its LiPo battery. As you can see, the keychain works fine, but did it solve the problem it was created for? Hmm. Unfortunately not because my wife never remembers to charge the keychain battery. Again, how can I solve this new problem? Maybe using a low energy Bluetooth 4.0 chip and some kind of energy harvesting? Hmm, maybe it will work, but I think getting a new wife will be easier. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching and happy hacking!